Welcome to another form Tyson video and in this video I'm going to introduce you to something called advanced values when using a drop down. So bear with me because this is it's actually quite simple to understand but <coughs> it just takes a while to explain. So what I'm going to do in this video and I'm going to create a contact first name last name email and then we're going to give him a question a question to answer and what we're going to do is the question is going to be called so let me just type it in here. We'll say two plus, uh, sorry, two plus two equals what? That's all we're going to say. And we're going to give him some choices. <coughs> we're going to say, we'll say one, we'll say four, we'll say five, and then we'll say three. Now, these are the values that are mapped to this. But what I'm looking to do is, I'm only looking to get a score, the right score. I don't care what value he selected, I just want to know the final score. So what you do is you click it, and then you go into Advanced, and then you click Configure Values. Now, <coughs> these are my labels, these are my values. So I can say, this is the wrong answer, so he'll get zero marks. This is the right answer, so he'll get 10 marks. Uh, this is the wrong answer, zero, and three, zero. Once you've done that, what we what we're going to do is we created well I've created a um, so let me go to a, a random contact so what I've done is I've created a field called marks scored on question one <coughs> and what this is going to do it's 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 going to insert the marks not the value so obviously the value for um, the right answer here is four but it's not going to insert four it's going to insert ten because that's the value I want, because that will uh, tell me the marks he's got on, on that specific question. If he's got a zero, it will tell me that he's got a zero. So that's the power of um, advanced values. Now, <coughs> when we got this uh, set up, let me just set up the button here, so it's submitting. I'm gonna go ahead and map this to Salesforce. And this is where things get interesting. I'm going to say create me a contact and we'll go ahead and map our fields. We'll say first name equals first name, last name equals last name, e uh, we don't need to do email. <coughs> and then we've got a couple of things here. We can either insert a value or we can um, specify what we want to insert. So. Here we can say it's either going to be uh, whatever the user has selected or it's going to be the value. So we want to insert the value, so I'm going to say, yeah, select the value. So we're going to find, a, yeah, there we go. Mark scored in question one. This will pull, this will push whatever the, they select from the drop down, <coughs> but this is what they'll push through on the value. So if we apply and finish, and then we'll go ahead and create something for us. We'll say Joe blogs Joe at ft.com. And I'm going to say two plus two is four. Once I've done that, I click submit. <coughs> Let's check in our integration logs. The contacts created. And as you can see, it's pushed 10. Not the right answer, which was four, instead 10. And that's the power of advanced values. You could have questions shed, uh, set up that people might fill in and you want to know how many marks they've gotten. And you can really use advanced values. You can just simply click on the drop down, <coughs> go into advance, configure advanced values and set a value for each different label. If you have a Salesforce integration into external system, you can again set the value here. At the end of the day, the users will see this, but you will see what you've set per that label. So that's how it's done. Thank you for watching this video.